Welcome back to another episode of Pogo Tips. New moves were added to the Pokemon moveset pool. I can't believe it, Wrigglytuff now has the quick attack called Charm, which would be awesome for PvP. It is the very first fairy type quick attack and it will be awesome against dragons. And now I shouldn't be saying this because everyone will then know I'm gonna have Wrigglytuff in this month's PvP lineup. After all, it's on my channel banner. And with Charm on it, I can finally use it for PvP fights. With the new Mewtwo movie out, here are 5 things that you need to know about your raid boss, Armored Mewtwo. Number 1. The stats are really bad. Seriously, really, really bad. Now here is the stats for the old Mewtwo and here are the stats for the Armored Mewtwo that you're getting. They just flip the attack and defense around. That's that's all. Now, in the CP stats formula, attack carries more weight. Now, since attack has dropped for Armored Mewtwo, the CP naturally came down. And with that, trainers, the Red Boss CP came down as well. So that means yours truly tried to trio it. Here we are with Cell Kick and C Dab. 19 seconds on the clock. We're not gonna do a uh, empty lobby start. We're just gonna go straight for it. <laughs> and let's see whether we can pull off an armored Mewtwo raid. Non weather boosted. One more shadow ball. <gasps> oh no, I'm out. Quick, get back in. Done. Big bad ball, no problem. Done. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh. Three man raid, so it is possible. So it's ultra, ultra best friend. So here we go, 18 Prima balls. Let's check out our CP. 1763, not all. 1768, not good. 1754. So let's do this, trainers. In the spirit of Pogo tips, show a nana. Count the five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yo! And I got a video. Okay! Number 3. The movesets are different. Now, in my previous episode, I show you what Mewtwo has in his move pool. But this armored Mewtwo has a different move pool, trainers. So what does this mean? It means two things. The ideal movesets would be Confusion and Rock Slide. This means if you want to take down armored Mewtwo, you can't really use a Tyra most of the time. Oh, by the way, Tony Stark actually liked one of my recent videos. Wow. Number four, try to avoid using Tyras if possible. Try to use Gengars and especially Giratinas. They're awesome with ghost moves. Because Iron Tail on some of the Mewtwo's will cut into rock. And two of his charge moves, Dynamic Punch and Earthquake will seriously kill your Tyras. Yes! Wow. Number 5 when it comes to catching armor Mewtwo's, the circle for excellent trolls is roughly the size of its helmet. Now of course, this channel's specialty is to use Nanab on the first troll to increase your catch rates between 60 to 75%. Now here is my catch video for armored Mewtwo. 
it is uncut and it shows you how I swing the circle down to this excellent size and throwing consistent excellent throws until Mewtwo is caught. Now the trick trainers is to throw the premium bomb the moment the attack of Mewtwo ends when he swings his hand across his body. That's right, the moment the animation ends, the premium ball must leave your finger. Number six, should you power up your armored Mewtwo's? The quick answer is no. In fact, use pinup to try to get double the candies to be used on your future or your past Mewtwo's. But if you do find a perfect armor Mewtwo and want to power it up, here is my one and only tip. Power it up to no more than CP2500. That's right, please, trust me on this. No matter how you trade armor Mewtwo, it would never drop into the Great Leagues, but it will do very well in the Ultra Leagues come PvP. Trust me on this, no matter how remote your town is, anywhere in the world, you will need a armor Mewtwo at CP2500 in the future. But if you power it up above 2500, it can only qualify for the Master League where it will do very horribly. And come anti raid days, good luck with your 5 free raid passes. Just throw water and rocks at it, you'll be fine. Sorry, buddy. Hey, Michael Jackson song. <gasps> Wait, any of recognizes your voice or anybody's voice? Anybody's voice. Proton. Hey, Proton. Hey, Proton. Coming. Catch some Pokemon for me. Directions to where? Deoxys Raid. Tell me where will you go? Bukit Jalil Park. Do you want to go to Recreational Park Bukit Jalil? Yes. Starting guidance to recreational park Bukit Jalil by shortest. Whoa! <laughs> no way! Let's go! Alright, trainers, here I am at Deoxys Speed Form with Aaron. Alright, the CP we're looking for is 1, 6, 4, 5. One six four five. One six four five. One six. One six three one. I said one six three. One six four. One six three four. Ooh. Now we're gonna see whether we. Ooh. Yep. Mid typical books cannot be traded. All right, peace, be love. What mon do you want for a special trade in the next episode? Uh, shiny Kyogre. Kyogre, Kyogre. And you want it shiny? Ta da! I have seven. <laughs> <laughs> Only four. No, yeah, trust me, it's Kyogre. It's, it's, it's the same color. You must be <laughs> And lastly, for the 21st of July Mudkip Community Day, I will be making things fun for my community. I will be at KLCC Park. Now, I'll be giving away one of this. Now, I might get a Mudkip instead to be given to the trainer that comes up to me with the heaviest shiny Mudkip. That's right, I can't make that any clearer. Heaviest shiny Mudkip. Not CP, not height, but weight on one simple condition. You have to trade that Mudkip with me. But don't worry, since you and I will likely have a shiny Mudkip by then, the cost will be low. Now, as a responsible YouTuber, I will not create a pandemonium or a mad rush. Just casually play for your 3 hours community day and then come by if you think your shiny Mudkip has a chance at being the heaviest one for this little guy. Now, I could change this into a Mudkip if I can find one, then it'll be much more appropriate, but you're gonna get at least one of these. So trainers, I hope to see you at the park for a little bit of fun, and if not, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.